You shouldn't have followed me. Who's running? Let's just get on with it. Despite the fact that this happened like a while ago, but I'm going to talk about it right now. So this situation took place early in the morning at Prime Wills Hill Park in London, England. Now, this couple had met on Facebook and they dated for at least like four months before they broke up. So this guy wanted to apologize to his girlfriend. He wanted to make amends with her. Oh, that's so sweet. By telling her to come down to the park so that he can apologize to her face to face. <laughs> Okay. So then once when she arrived to the park, that's when instead of the guy apologizing to his ex-girlfriend, he started to demand for sex. Law well, didn't see this coming. Now as her ex kept demanding for sex, she told him to write up a check. Hey! Let me stop, let me stop, let me get back to this. Now as her ex kept demanding for sex, that's when she started using some very, very bad excuses. Like this one, for example. It's my time of the month. Well, how do you know? Honestly, she could be telling the truth. Maybe or maybe not. Maybe she was lying just for him to say, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. But yet, this man was still persistent and he kept continuing with the demand for sex. Bruh, if it was her time of the month, you are one nasty dude. But after she denied him the chance of getting them cheeks, that's when he decided to threaten her by saying these words. I knew what you out here. Because you were stupid enough to fall for it. You're not gonna use your looks to get a new man. And he proceeded to punch her in the face. <laughs> then once when she was on the ground, he beat the crap out of her. Brian Fury wins. And as he was beating the crap out of his ex, he did all of that in front of her young son. Man, I just want to say to you, you're setting the perfect example for the young boys of today. Good work. So this lady was able to manage to pull out her phone and to contact the police to let them know of the situation that was taking place. You can scream all you like. No one is going to hear you. So soon as he was punching and kicking her, she dropped the phone to the point where now she started screaming. And that's when her phone went dead. And I already know what you're probably asking. Where is the son in all of this? Honestly, I'm not so sure, but I can probably take a gander on what happened to the son. After the son saw the situation of his mom getting the crap beat out of her, he left, hid somewhere, and contacted the police so that way they can arrive on the scene and deal with that crackheaded guy. And then when the cops finally arrived on the scene, they arrested the man on the spot. And this is what he had to say. Okay, dude, tell me now, why in the world is she bleeding? Officer, I don't know why she's bleeding. Well, look, I just wanted to meet up with her earlier today and this morning because the one I had to go to work at two, I just wanted to have a conversation with her. But things just spiraled out of control, officer. Well, she grabbed, well, officer, listen, she grabbed my leg and she was on the ground like that, so I started treading around just to try to make sure that she didn't sustain any injury. Yeah, sure you were. I'm being serious. You know, I had enough of you. Take your butt and come. Now it was time for them to go to court. There is a man by the name of Guy who is ready for sentencing, sir. No, 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 it can't be that guy. Hey, hey, what's up, Judge? Did anybody tell you you look like that red ghost sager from No, Super shut! Game? Shut your stupid mouth up! This is my third time seeing you in my sentence room. I'm really sick of this. But this time it wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault. Just like punching someone in the face for no apparent reason wasn't your fault. What a guy had it coming. Just like racially and religiously harassing someone and then assaulting them at the same time wasn't your fault. They started it. And now on this offense, you lured somebody out into the park late in the early morning. And then you proceed to beat them up because they didn't want to have intercourse with you. You and this lady broke up. You haven't been together for four whole months. You know what you could have done within that four months time? If you really wanted to get it in that bad, you could have went to the strip club. You probably could have got a prostitute. You could have even dated a porn star. You could have did those things. You call her, lure her out in the early mornings so that way you can have intercourse. Just like I said, this really wasn't my fault, so I don't know why I'm here. You know what? That's it, that's it, that's it, I'm done. Get, get him out of here right now before I call my red dragon make his order on him to squash him, okay? I don't know if you have roommates or not, but if you did, you should have listened to them in that situation. And I think it went something like this. <laughs> Girl, where are you going? I'm going out. Let's 
early? Yes. Thanks. Freaking 2 a.m. in the morning. Go back to bed. I'm going to the club to meet my girls. That's a load of bull crap and you know it. Now where are you going? <sighs> right, look, I'm going out to meet my boyfriend, okay? At 2. Yes! In the morning. Yes! No one is stopping you from sleeping. This is not about me. Where are you meeting him exactly? I'm meeting him at the park. At the park? Are you crazy? What, are you expecting an early morning romantic picnic at the park? The lift is up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on the mountain high. The lift is up where we wants to do is just talk. Let me, he just wants to talk at the park at two in the freaking morning. Girl, you're nothing more than a dang early morning booty call. Are you done? That's what she said. You really think that this is a joke? What if something bad happens over there? And if he was seriously going to apologize to you, don't you think he could have sent you a message or even give you a phone call on the freaking phone or probably met you later on in the day? But this early, he wants to apologize to you at the park? You ain't gonna have no type of protection. Look, I can guarantee you nothing bad is gonna happen at the park, all right? He's just going to apologize. And if things does get out of hand, I have my son to protect me. R really? Really? Y your son? Look, he said he changed his ways. And I just got a text from him, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to meet him now. Don't walk out that door. You take your butt back to bed right now. I cannot believe I just wasted my breath, speech, time, and the most important thing of them all, sleep. All because this woman wants to go meet some little dude at the freaking park. That's that precious moments of my life I'll never get back. If you want to read the rest of this article, click on the link in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed this video so much, don't forget to hit that like button up, show me you care, and don't forget to share it. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page, the links are also in the description below. So you guys take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Ayua! Ato!